hey what's up you guys welcome back to another video all right you guys so as you can see um i'm on land today um yeah gonna be doing something a little bit different today um uh, weather's weather's not the best today so didn't want to take out the ginu so decided to do a little bit of land fishing today see see what we can catch from land uh but we're gonna start off the morning by fishing a, a bridge and yeah we got some live shrimp and yeah gonna see what we can catch with that and then if uh if the bite's not too good here we'll just move on to some other spots and yeah just jump around spot to spot and see what we catch today but hopefully at this bridge uh we catch some black drum and snook um you never know maybe a tarpon or grouper so we'll see Bad boy over here. Slowly make our way down. Hopefully we don't trip. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna rig up. Uh, I'm gonna rig up for live shrimp. So pretty much the the rig I like to use is kind of a knocker rig. So I just kind of slide the weight in like that. Then I grab some circle hooks. Um, in this case, I'm gonna be using uh, the Mustad Demon Perfect Circle, uh, the 3X strong and the, in a two watt size. And yeah, I pretty much just tie, um, I think I tie a uni knot. I don't even remember what this knot is called, but yeah, this is pretty much the the rig i i like to use when i'm fishing live shrimp kind of yeah it's just kind of an easy rig to set up and yeah pretty simple you know it's easy to tie if i get broken off and yeah just kind of cinch it down and cut the excess piece off and that's pretty much that's pretty much it you guys that'll uh this weight just kind of slides up and down, and I think that's why it's called a knocker rig. Alright, come on. Oh, we got some good sized shrimp here, you guys. Look at, look at, these, look at these shrimp, they're good size. All right, and with these live shrimp, I usually, uh, I usually just like to hook them back, uh, not back here, but on the on the head, in between like their thorn or their horn. It's kind of like a tough spot there, and yeah, I try not to get their brain, or else they just instantly die. But just kind of in between the brain and the horn, there's like a little gap. You just kind of hook it through there, and then just pretty much just cast it out there. And it's just a waiting game now. Hopefully we can get picked up, you know, pretty quick or yeah, we might have to just wait it out and see. Yeah, you guys, and typically when when the wind's kind of blowing and and just in general, I always like to kind of put my finger on the line just to kind of see what, what's kind of going on. I could feel if the, the weight's bouncing off the bottom or I could feel if something's like pecking at it, messing with it. And yeah, that's kind of how I get an idea of, you know, what, what's going on. I'm gonna cast this bad boy all the way to the other side. I'm already getting picked up. Something's already messing with it. Look, I think I might be on. Just let him take it. Oh, I think he has it. Yep, yep, I'm on you guys. Oh, what is this? It's pulling pretty good. What is this? What is that? Is that a snook? Dude, that was almost like instant, you guys. It's crazy. What is that? Is it a snook? No, it's a snook, I think. Yeah, it's a snook. Oh, that's sweet. All right. Let's... I don't want him getting in the oyster. He's going to cut himself up. 
All right, let me see how I can uh, get down and grab them. All right, so I did actually bring a net today. So don't want anyone slipping and trying to get down here. Here we go, you guys. First fish of the morning on the live shrimp. Oh yeah, this guy's about like 18, 20 inches maybe. I got a perfect hook set right in the corner. That's what you like to see with these uh, circle hooks. There we go, you guys. Gonna have to unfortunately throw them back in like that. There we go. He swam off. Yeah, it's just you guys can't really tell but it's a it's pretty steep here and there's oyster bars everywhere and yeah just super slippery here so yeah i don't want to risk getting cut up and getting a nasty infection All right, you guys, so just cast it out there. I'm just gonna leave the rod alone. I feel like sometimes these fish, they can feel every little vibration, especially if you talk. I feel like the vibration kind of goes through the line and to the, to the shrimp. Yep. Oh, there we go. There we go. Does he have it? Yeah, I think he has it. Yep, there we go. I'm on. Oh yeah, you guys, this feels a little weird, it's giving me uh, some catfish vibes. Yeah, I got something. No, he broke off. No. No, the hook pulled. No. Dude, what the heck? I don't think it was a catfish. I actually, thinking about it now, it, it pulled like a drum. Dang. All right, you guys, so decided to move to the other side of the bridge just because we're getting more action on this side, so makes it easier to cast, too. All right. Yeah, we're kind of tucked away from the wind a little bit better, so the audio should be better, too. All right, come over here this side. Uh, just to wait. It's a waiting game now. I mean, the fish are the fish are here. Just gotta gotta wait. Mine. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm on you guys. Oh, that's got some drag oh, that's, that's got some good weight whatever this is that's got some good weight yep that's got some good weight for sure yeah i don't know what this is but whatever it is it's pretty heavy oh i hope it's not a grouper don't go over there no dude it's got some good weight. No, don't get in that hole. It's going for the bridge. There we go, you guys. Damn, where is he going? He's right here. Oh, dang. Dude, that's got some good weight. Trying to. What is that? Is it? Is it? No, it's a drum. Yeah, it's a drum. Well, that's a good sized drum. There we go. Oh yeah. Dude, I knew it had to be a drum earlier. That's a good sized one too. Dude, he pulled pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie. 
here. All right, let's kind of do the Keep same thing. Up. Yeah. Some of that blood. There we go, you guys. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, let's wash away some of that blood. Bring them up. It's got some good weight to him. Probably like 10 pounds, 10, 15 pounds. Oh, look, he's got a little remora on him. I got him pretty good, you guys. Got him right in the corner of the mouth. There we go. Circle hook came right out. He's got a little remora on him. That. Let's see if we can throw this guy back first. Suction cup. There we go, you guys. Hell yeah, nice, beautiful black drum. He's uh, not so much of a puppy drum. He's kind of turning into a, a big ugly. But yeah, he's still got some stripes on him, as you can see. All right, you guys, so just measured the drum. He is, yeah, so zero is right there, and he is about almost 23 inches 22 and a half so he's actually a good eating size yeah so he's a good eating size and my parents today um they, they want to eat some fish so i'm gonna i'm gonna harvest this guy i'm gonna bring him back to my parents and i know they're gonna enjoy him yeah they they love eating black drum mangrove snapper sheep's head they uh they enjoy eating all those species so i'm gonna harvest harvest it for them and yeah um yeah this this guy's gonna come with us and yeah i'm gonna go grab my cooler and we'll, we'll get back to fishing all right you guys so i'm all rigged up um he frayed me up a little bit but still good to go we're gonna I'm gonna put another shrimp on and get back out there see if we can uh, hook another one that was actually a pretty good fight i'm not gonna lie Usually uh, these drums don't really give much of a fight. Oh, I think I'm on again, you guys. Something just, something was trying to grab it. Is it still bending? Oh, yep, he's on. There we go. We're on again, you guys. It was smaller. That's something small, I think. Are you on too? Yeah, they're coming small. Oh. This one feels like a damn catfish. Yep. Damn it. Oh, we doubled up. This guy. Uh, <laughs> Did that snapper just poop on you? No, it was a... Oh, was that's a funny. Hey, measure that guy. He might be 10. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, he's he's small. not 10. He's like 8. All right, let me uh let me get this catfish out off of my freaking hook. We were bound to catch a catfish at one point. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys. What the hell is this? Dude, it was almost instant. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, it's a snook. Not a bad size snook. Oh, he might be slot too. Dude, I barely turned off the GoPro and was about to just hang out and freaking line just started taking off. Sick. He's about just under slot, looks like. I don't want him to get all banged up.
There we go. Careful, bro. Just relax. Yeah, I got them perfectly hooked in the corner. Oh, wow, hook just fell right out. There we go, you guys. Nice, uh, a nice Everglades snook. Yeah, he's he's probably like 25, 26 inches. He's got some beautiful color colors on him. He's a, uh, it's not too dark, so looks like he's probably just moved back here, just hanging out, passing this cold front. Let me see if I can get a pretty decent release on him. Try my best to get a good release. All right, looks like he's ready to go. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys, that's awesome. Good netting, bro. All right, you guys. So I just got back home. Um, yeah, you guys. So pretty much um, after we did the bridge fishing. Uh, jumped around a couple couple spots from land and honestly we didn't get much action um, we ran into some tarpon but they weren't they weren't uh, willing to cooperate not much else besides uh, the fish we caught at the bridge but honestly we probably should have just stuck it out the bridge but it was a good it was a good bite you know we were there for a couple hours and it was pretty nice to hook up into some pretty decent fish some snook and that uh, pretty nice uh, black drum but yeah you guys that's gonna be it for today and uh yeah you guys um i'm gonna try and upload more consistently so ho hopefully i can uh, bang out you know at least two or three videos a month so yeah you guys i appreciate all the support and i'll see you guys in the next one